Hey everybody, as you may have seen recently, I've done a couple of videos uh, playing with bismuth, trying to grow larger crystals. This is bismuth itself in its raw form. Uh, it is a metal very much like lead, melts at 271 degrees C, and when it crystallizes, when it solidifies, it turns into some amazing and beautiful crystals. And I've been experimenting. I suggest checking out those other two videos. Today I'm not messing around, I'm going to melt everything I have. I think I was right with my trying to keep it warm solution, but I think I just needed more mass. So I've got over two and a half kilos of bismuth sat here ready to melt, so I'm just going to get on with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to melt is this uh, thing that was a failed attempt at something. Um, so let's just put that in there. This is a curry bowl, by the way, and wow! Oh my god. I may have got the best bowl ever for filming this. Oh, it's going to be very satisfying, calming, very ASMR-like. Maybe I should talk softly to you as I melt that. Hang on, the sparrows are going to have to go. Shut up! Relax as we slowly melt the bismuth down into its liquid form. A spicy curry is generally made of lead-like materials. <laughs> I see a bead of liquid bismuth appearing from underneath. Finally. Okay, so this should be hollow and full of crystals. It's really hot. I'm going to let it cool down and then I'll try and break that top off. Maybe we'll get a crystal out of this one. Oh. Pretty small. Okay, we're going to go for another port because I can't pull crystals off the oh, surface like I was hoping.
Okay, that's just solidifying far too quickly. This solidified very fast too, so there isn't a very big void in there. So I might as well leave those as is because they're in a good size to remelt. And that's fine because we've got this thing. And in theory, inside this should be some really mad crystals. Uh, but I've got to get it out of here first. This is almost... No, this is cool enough. I can touch this now. It's not even been that long. How am I going to get... Oh, I just hope it comes out of here. My hope is, with this being a flexible dish, if I give it a few bumps with a mallet, it might pop out. How is it still held in? <gasps> okay, I haven't seen this myself. <sighs> okay, we ready? We have got one really cool crystal in the bottom, otherwise it was a complete fail. If I can get that one out the bottom, I will call this a success. If. Oh. That's amazing. I'll show you this at the end. But we definitely have actually made forward progression. Still not near the scale I was thinking, but we've definitely made forward progression. Okay, so you will have seen the best crystal... Uh, grew on the very bottom and there was very little going on down there. It all solidified from the top So there is no way it would seem of me stopping that from happening. So I have to probably Do the same thing but keep it covered and turn it down and then Once it gets a reasonable crust on the top except there's enough depth For the crystals to keep, keep growing make a hole drain it and do the same thing we've done here I also have some seed crystals to try and grow some larger bits. But uh, let's end this one here because we've made proper progression and I want to show you this close up. Okay, well let's have a look at the results and I'm going to go from the worst stuff to the best stuff. And I've got something pretty good I'm pleased with. The first thing is this like half bowl. This was uh, where I poured off from the curry bowl into a dish. And after it solidified, because I'd already poured some out to try and get some crystals in this, I hit it with a hammer to break it in half. And as you can see, it didn't actually form any crystals inside. I'll remelt this for next time. This is very cool looking, but again, this needs to get melted because it's the majority of my bismuth. This is the underside of the top from the curry bowl. Uh, as you can see, it's a blue colour due to the heat being trapped in. And uh, the crystals are formed here, but not too large. Okay, to give you some comparison, this is the best one that I did in the last episode. And what I really want to do in each episode is make sure that I end with something better than the one before. And I've done that so far and I've done it again. So I want to show you this one just for comparison. Okay, well this is the best one, save till last. As you can see, this is the one that was in the bottom of that curry dish. It's got proper structure to it. It's got multiple facets. If it was just left to grow, it would have got bigger and bigger. Um, but unfortunately, because the top had become so thick so quickly, it didn't have much room. And it was good that I kind of stopped it where I did. I now know for the next time, what I need to do is wrap the whole thing in foil and turn the heat down as low as I can that it will still allow the uh, crystals to solidify, but not so low as that it will do it quickly. It needs to be the most slow, drawn-out process I can make. But if I leave it too long and it goes over that borderline, I won't be able to get it apart and it will go solid. This is why this is so difficult and I admire people who are able to grow the really big ones. Though I do realise that again, three kilos is still a very small quantity compared to what a lot of people will be using to grow the very large ones. They'll be using, well I don't know how they get it so cheap. If you know some way of getting cheap bismuth in the UK, I'm currently paying about £30 a kilo. If you know a cheap way of getting it, please let me know. Or if you're a company that supplies bismuth and you want to work together on something, get in contact, email is in the description. Otherwise, if you want to help support this channel, please consider grabbing some of my merch, joining my Patreon for many benefits, or just liking the video, because that will really help.
Catch you in the next one.